Boom shakalaka. What's up guys? My name is Russell and in this episode, we're going to take a look at the Ledger Nano S hardware wallet. How to get set up using one of these. I know a lot of you guys are really contemplating some hardware wallets now. So I want to show you how to get set up and how to start using this so that you can protect your crypto. Stay tuned. What's up guys, my name is Russell and if you've seen probably any other video, you're probably wondering who the fuck I am, right? Um, my name is Russell, I'm Randall's brother and I've been with Crypto Love since the beginning, since August of 2017. And I've done a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but uh, you may have seen me in a couple episodes before, particularly the 69,000 subscriber live, live stream. If you haven't seen that, go check it out right now. Um, but I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes, so you probably don't know who I am that well yet. Um, but I'm starting a new series where we're gonna be teaching you guys more informative stuff, not just about what's going on in the market, but how to actually do a lot of this stuff in crypto. And to start that, today we're gonna talk about hardware wallets. And this is a great episode because right now a lot of people are in a lot of pain because they have a lot of crypto on centralized exchanges and whatever. So. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to get started using one of these wallets, why you need this, and uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. This is the Ledger Nano X. It is made by Ledger. I do like this product, so I would recommend it to anybody who is looking for a hardware wallet. So you may be asking, why should I get a hardware wallet? And I mean, it's very simple answer is, not your keys, not your crypto. So right now we're seeing all this stuff like Celsius and all these other big players who are holding your crypto or some people's crypto um, and you can't get it. I have a bunch of money on Celsius myself. I also have a lot of my crypto on a hardware wallet because it's safer and it's my money and I can do what I want with it when I want. So if you don't have one of these yet, I absolutely recommend getting a hardware wallet, whether it's a ledger or a Trezor. I'll do another video on how to use a Trezor if you wanna learn more about that one. But for today, we're gonna do this one. This is the Ledger Nano X. It's the more expensive one. Um, they both work. The other one is a Ledger Nano S. It looks like this. And uh, today we're gonna go through this one so you can get started, Ledger Nano X. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is unbox it. I've started to already. It's usually covered in a film like this. So if you have one that looks like this from wherever you get it, it's been tampered with, so don't use it. Um, I would recommend as well, go to the Ledger website when you wanna buy this. Um, you can buy them on Amazon as well, but just make sure you're getting it from Ledger because uh, you know you don't. it is possible for people to hack these. So just be careful out there, okay? So we open it up, take the sleeve off. It's a very pretty product. Um, you know, like Apple products, I feel like. Um, white, whatever. And there it is. There's the USB device. Um, it looks like a USB drive, basically, and that's more or less what it is. It just stores your private keys in a very secure way, and that's why you can't just do that with a regular USB device. But this, um, this is what the ledger looks like. I don't know if we can get a close-up. There you go. So there's a nice screen here. I'll do this for you guys. Ooh, oh my gosh. All right, so there's a nice screen on there. It won't turn on right now because I don't believe there's charge um, out of the, yeah. So there's a button here as well. You can see there's a button here and a button here. It's kind of hard to see those, but um, those are the buttons that you're gonna use. On the Ledger Nano X, the buttons are on the top and that's basically all you need. And then, you know, to interact with the device except for you also need a cord to connect it. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. Also inside, you'll see there's a bunch of paperwork like telling you how to get set up with the device, which we're gonna do now. Um, it also has a bunch of recovery sheets. So these you can store your seed phrase and we're gonna talk about what that is in a second, but uh, I wouldn't also recommend necessarily using this because if your house burns down or something, unfortunately, this is gonna burn too, because it's paper. So there's other solutions out there like metal ones and I'll talk about those in another episode. Um, but that's a great option as well, instead of using these paper ones. But for now you can use them just to write your seed phrase down. We're gonna talk about that in a second. So anyway, outside of that, inside the box, you're gonna find um, your cord, which is, it's a USB 
regular USB, I guess, 2 or 3.0 to USB-C. And what else is in here? There's like a little lanyard string uh, in case you want to wear this around your neck. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is plug this bad boy into the computer. Um, now, just so that you know, the Ledger Nano X is Bluetooth. It's a Bluetooth device as well, so you can connect it using your phone. Um, but I think you might have to do it with the cord and a computer before you can actually do that. Um, personally, I don't really like the idea of using the Bluetooth aspect of it, even though I like the Nano X and that's pretty much the main difference, but the Bluetooth to me is a little bit uh, insecure. So that's your own option there. All right, so I'm just gonna put this stuff away and we'll plug this bad boy in. I'm going to plug it in and I'll just show you uh, what that looks like. So here I, this is already, this cord is connected to my computer already and we're just gonna plug this in here. Ta-da! And then, as you can probably see, it lights up and it's gonna say on the front, it says, welcome to Ledger Nano X, press right button to continue. So we're gonna do that. And this is pretty straightforward. I mean, if you've ever set up any sort of device at all before, um, it's gonna be pretty straightforward in terms of how to do it. So it's gonna walk you through. So it's gonna say download Ledger Live at ledger.com slash start, and then press the right button. So we're gonna do that first. So let's download some stuff. Okay, so after we've downloaded Ledger Live, you're gonna be faced with this screen, which is just the Ledger Live app and it's gonna say get started. So we're gonna click that, get started. And obviously you're gonna read through all the terms of service and privacy policy. You definitely wanna do all of that because I know everybody does that every single time. And then you're gonna click, I've already read these by the way. So uh, terms of service, privacy policy, enter ledger. And then we're gonna select the one that we have. So there's nan Nano S, Nano S Plus, and the Nano X, which is the one that we have. And this would be the first time using my Nano. So we're gonna generate a new wallet with this. And if you if you actually have a wallet that you wanna recover with your seed phrase, you can do that as well. Uh, you would just click this one here, but we're gonna do select a new Nano. And it's gonna walk us through the basics, own your own private key, stay offline. That's the other good thing about this. It's not connected to the internet unless you want it to. And yeah. There's also a lot of cool features, which I'll go over at the end uh, with Ledger Live, which is the app. So let's do this. All right, so I'm ready. It takes about 30 minutes of your time. Please be careful. Okay, so yeah, so we got it. By the way, on the actual Ledger itself, it's gonna show you a lot of information in the beginning. So it's gonna say, you know, download the Ledger Live, use the buttons to navigate, press both buttons to select. So basically you use the right and left button to move left and right through screens on the Ledger Nano. And then when you wanna select something, you're actually gonna click both buttons at the same time. That's sort of like pressing enter on your keyboard. And then we're gonna go to start Ledger Live for help during the setup. And it, we're gonna select set up a new device. So we're gonna click both and then we're gonna choose a pin with four to eight digits. And I believe you actually have to do eight. Um, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna confirm that. Obviously you don't wanna use a password this easy um, this password is going to unlock your ledger. So you want to use a good password that you'll remember because in order to actually do anything with Web3 apps, you're going to need to unlock this every time that you're interacting with your ledger wallet. So make sure it's something that you remember. The seed phrase is just for recovering the actual wallet. It's not for opening the wallet every time that you're using it. So you want a pin that you're going to remember. Um, now, it says write down your recovery phrase. And what this is, it's gonna be 12 or 24 words, I believe. For ledgers, it's 24 words. So it's gonna give you 24 words in a specific order, one through 24, and you need to write these down 
on the included recovery sheet. And like I said, we're gonna have another video where I show you how to store that safer. Um, but for now, you just write those words down on the recovery sheet. And I'm gonna do that and then skip through so that you guys can, uh, don't have to watch me do all that, but it's gonna go one by one through each individual word. So write down each one, and then it's gonna ask you to repeat that back to it, to tell it which one. So you can do that whole process. It'll walk you through that entire thing. Um, but I'm gonna show you once we get to the next step. Okay, so I've written down my entire seed phrase. Obviously, this <laughs> I'm gonna delete this wallet, so if you want to steal this seed phrase, go for it, but there's not any money on here. There never will be, so go for it. But anyway, once you've written everything down, you're going to repeat that back to your ledger so that it knows that you have the right seed phrase there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll catch back up with you in a sec. Okay, so I've entered my seed phrase back into the ledger and it says now your recovery phrase is set, keep it in a secure place. So that's the other important thing. This really is your crypto wallet at this point. Your This is as well and it's protected by the pin that you created, but if somebody finds this uh, seed phrase, they can recover your wallet. So you really wanna make sure that you put this somewhere safe. Uh, there's tons of different recommendations of where to put this, but I would highly recommend not storing either this or your ledger in your home. Um, you know, some good places to put them would be in perhaps a safety deposit box or hidden. I don't know where else, uh, you know, if I tell you somewhere that to hide it, that doesn't make sense. So um, find somewhere to hide yours. Okay, so it says your recovery phrase is set. Keep it in a secure place. If lost, stolen, or forgotten, all your assets will be immediately lost, which is pretty much true. So uh, make sure you protect that because that is your money right there. Um, never share it with anyone. Ledger will never ask you for it. That is also true. Never share that seed phrase with anyone, no matter what. Even if they claim to be customer support or anything, you never give that out because that is like handing someone your bank account, essentially. Okay, it says press both buttons to continue. And now it's gonna process a little bit and just essentially set up your wallet. And here we are. So this is the main dashboard. I'm gonna walk you through this for a little bit. Also, uh, you will wanna download this update immediately. You'll probably have one, uh, might be not be this one, but um, you definitely wanna update this and it may also have you update your ledger device itself. But before we do that, I'm gonna just walk you through some of the stuff here. So the first thing is on the top here, on the left is basically everything you can do with your ledger app and uh, it's gonna say portfolio. So this will show you your portfolio. We haven't connected an account yet. Um, and then also below that, we'll see the market. So this is what's going on in the market. Currently, Bitcoin is at about $20,000. Hopefully that goes up soon. Uh, and then you can buy and sell and swap and do all this stuff with your ledger through here and through their partners. We don't have any accounts set up right now, so we can't see those. Discover is going to show you other apps that are built into Ledger or that you can download for Ledger to interact with different things. So there's lots of options here. Just understand that this is not Ledger. So anything that you see on here is some other company and you're basically accepting their terms. But here's like ways to down, uh, I'm sorry, to purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum through like Wire. You can also have like NFT portfolio in there, that kind of stuff. So check those out as well. Also, you'll see send, receive, buy, sell, swap. Um, those features, again, need to be set up after an account. Ledger now also has a card, so you can do that through here if you are eligible for that. There's that. And then the manager as well. And it's loading. There you go. So you can install apps through this manager. So let's say we want a Bitcoin wallet. We are going to have to install that and install Ethereum as well, or any other ones for that matter, right? You have Binance Smart Chain, XRP, Cardano. There's a bunch of them here. So anyone that you want to interact with, uh, you can download those on here. Okay, so now we can look at our accounts because we've downloaded uh, the Bitcoin and Ethereum apps. And on it, my device is just saying to open those and it's gonna synchronize my device with my Ledger app. Now, the benefit of this is that you don't have to have your Ledger plugged in in order to check your portfolio balances. You will in order to interact with anything, 
but just to see your balances, it'll always be available there. So I'm syncing my Ethereum account right now, and we're just gonna call that Ethereum one and click done. And now if we click accounts, we see my account here. Now, when there's some money on there or transactions, you'll see transactions down in this area as well. Um, and your balance here, and then like what that is in currency. But you can see also now we have um, the ability to send, receive, buy, sell, swap, all that good stuff. And that was just Ethereum. I can also, let's see, set up my, if I wanna add another account, like my Bitcoin account, I would just click add account here. And it's gonna ask me the asset, uh, Bitcoin. And it's gonna say, open your app on. And again, I'm gonna click both buttons to open the Bitcoin app. And it's just gonna sync that. Add account, done. There we go. So now we have Bitcoin and Ethereum on here. Now there's no money in here. So the next thing that you wanna do is fund these accounts. So if you have money on, let's say Coinbase or any other exchange out there, you wanna get that money from Coinbase to your ledger wallet, right? Um, we're not importing the wallet that you have on Coinbase. You've actually created a new wallet now. So let's say you have Ethereum on Coinbase and you wanna put it in this account. So what you're going to do is go to your Ethereum account right here, click Ethereum, and you're going to click receive. You can also just click receive here on the left and then choose which account you want to do. And it's going to remind you, please only send Ethereum or Ethereum tokens to this account. So if you have Ethereum tokens, you can also use this with those tokens. So any Ethereum tokens will show up here as well. Uh, you can send to this wallet address. So we're going to click continue and then on your device, it's going to ask you to open the app, which you will do. And then it's going to provide for you your wallet address. And this is your public address. So you can share this with other people. And this is where they're going to send crypto to you. You can also click share Q or sorry, show QR code. Uh, that's usually easier. So you don't have to like type in all that stuff. Uh, and there you go. So you can receive crypto and Basically, all you're going to do at this point is go on your Coinbase account and do send and then use this as your recipient address and send stuff there. I would recommend also if you are going to send to this address for the first time to just do a test transaction of maybe like $10 before you send a larger amount just to make sure that it's going through. Also, uh, once you've done this, the ledger is going to ask you to just verify the address, which just means confirming that you see the same address on the app that you do on your device. Usually you can just look at like the first four digits and the last four digits to confirm. Um, and then you're just gonna click approve when you're done and that will hide the address again. And that's it, it's that simple. You have set up your first hardware wallet. Congratulations. Um, it's super simple. There's lots of other um, things that you can do with a Ledger wallet. But for now, I think that's good to just get you set up and start putting your crypto somewhere safer than a centralized exchange. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a like. Um, if you'd like to see some other content, like anything else about crypto that you want to know more about, write it in the comments and let me know so that I can make a video for you guys. Um, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Russell and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.